So this lesson is for banjo players. I was just playing a few licks there, uh, it's sort of Terry Balcom inspired licks that featured the 3-2 pull-off. And when I say the 3-2 pull-off, I mean the third fret down to the second fret on the G string. So... Okay, and the 3-2 pull-off is one of the most significant sounds in bluegrass banjo. Uh, Scruggs did it, J.D. Crow did it, and Terry Balcom did it about as, as well as anyone. And I, ever since Terry Balcom died about a month ago, uh, I've been thinking about his banjo playing, and I went back to some of my AccuTab materials from Terry Balcom that I had learned with over the years, and it reminded me just how much I had learned from him and his, his style, his technique, and also uh, about the 3-2 pull-off. It made me think about it some more, and I realized I have a take on the 3-2 pull-off uh, that I think gives a very Balcom-like sound, but I haven't heard a lot of others talk about uh, this, this way of playing the 3-2 pull-off. So that's what this lesson is about. It's about uh, it's a tribute to Terry Balcom and his banjo playing, and it's helping those out there to play that crisp 3-2 pull-off. Okay, I've zoomed the camera in on my left hand so that you can see exactly how I'm doing this 3-2 pull-off. For the example here, I'm going to play a forward reverse roll beginning on the G string. Uh, I'll start with a 2-3 slide and then I'll end with a 3-2 pull-off. One more time. Okay, so what we're trying to do is get a very crisp 3-2 pull-off at the end there. Okay, now if I just do the pull-off, that's what we're going for, that nice two distinct note sound. Okay, and so what I do, and which I think is very helpful, is to use your ring finger for the pull-off. So I use my index finger, down on the second fret, and you'd think the middle finger is probably the most common way that people will do this pull-off, but in my experience, it's difficult to get as much punch and percussiveness out of the pull-off with the ring finger. And watch, here's how I do it. That's with the ring finger. And so I'm, the goal is to pull straight down on the string while I'm hold, fretting it with the index finger is to pull straight down with the third finger. When I say straight down, it means towards the second string, towards the first string, towards the second string. But with my middle finger, my knuckles, my fingers kind of curled forward so that when I pull down, it wants to pull from the knuckle a little back towards, back towards this first finger. Whereas if I use my ring finger, watch the direction of my ring finger when I pull, do the pull off. I'm able to go straight down. From here, straight down towards the second string or the first string. And that allows me to get that really crisp sound. And that's what we're looking for, is that distinct sound. So I would encourage you to practice this. Uh, if you're doing that forward reverse roll, I would start with my middle finger. And then, then I anchor that index finger down, put my, my ring finger down, and pull, pull down. And you can do this in a whole host of different situations. And that ring finger, once you get used to it being there, I've found that it's more consistent, more percussive, and it gives you that Terry Balcom, J.D. Crow sound that most banjo players are looking for. So practice that, good luck, and enjoy.